Let's head over to London now and check in with Cindy Palm. Cindy, we're hearing about investigations into the deadly uh, volcano eruption in New Zealand. The, the expectation is that it could take a year. I think a lot of people are probably surprised that there are investigations wondering, you know, what the investigations could be about. Well, Anne-Marie, good morning. Not only could the investigation take a year, but there could be criminal penalties of up to five years in jail. New Zealanders, including Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, held a moment of silence today, a week on from the tragedy. The volcano erupted with little warning on White Island, which had been a popular spot for day trippers. 18 people are believed to have died. 14 are in burn units in New Zealand, and 13 were airlifted to hospitals in Australia. Most of those on the island were cruise ship passengers. There's been growing criticism that tourists were allowed on the island given the risks of an active volcano. To the Philippines, where a strong earthquake that jolted the southern part of the country on Sunday killed at least four people. Dozens were also injured. The magnitude 6.9 quake collapsed a three-story building in a town in the province of Davao del Sur. Rescuers scrambled to find others who were trapped below the rubble. The area has been hammered by a series of powerful quakes in recent months. Deadly protests have spread across India over a new citizenship law that excludes Muslims. At least six people were killed in India's northeastern state of Assam, which is on the border with Bangladesh. The legislation passed by parliament last week creates a path for citizenship for millions of migrants from Muslim-majority countries of Bangladesh, Afghanistan and Pakistan who practice Hinduism and Christianity, among other religions. But the bill specifically excludes those who are Muslim, the religion practiced by 200 million Indian citizens. Critics believe the new law is part of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's nationalist agenda to marginalize India's Muslims in the majority Hindu country. He denies this, saying this act is only for those who have faced years of persecution outside and have no other place to go except India. But nearly 2 million immigrant Muslims living in India have reportedly been left off the list, which means, Anne-Marie, that could leave them stateless. All right, Cindy, thank you very much.